do you see that as part of your mandate or your a duty as a woman leader to promote other women? Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Um, for one thing, I don't think we have the critical mass of women in decision-making roles, you know, to be able to benefit at the maximum from from what they bring to the task. Mm -hmm. So we need more of them, and so we have to be committed to, to more of them. Um, and, and the next thing is, We've we've never we've never tried as you know like the experience of men having run something all their lives and all men we've never tried it the other way with all women just to see what the, what, what how the results will be different mm -hmm. yeah, but it's hard to achieve because you don't have uh, the number of women available and right. you know with the qualification and the experience to be able to, to do it. Yeah, because the numbers aren't there. Yeah, that's that's the issue that everybody runs into. You have to create the next generation that's of women it. who that's have why those we have experiences. To focus on the young women mm -hmm. and train them and prepare them and, and have them get the maximum education, the maximum professional competence, mm -hmm. you know, so that the choice is there if someone wants to determined that I want this organization run by women, like it's always been run by men, nobody's questioning it. Yeah. You know, I mean, it happened naturally. They were there, they were qualified, they had the, they were there. So if we have enough women, let's, you know, somebody's gonna try it and see if it brings different results, I don't know. Mm -hmm.